Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. Well, hello, Wadsworth. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. All right. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Tell me a joke. I'd like a haircut. Where can I buy things for my place? I'd like something to drink. Tell me a joke. I once visited a crematorium that gave discounts for burn victims. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on uh, the Tale of Two Wastelands overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we're going to start off this episode by attempting to disarm the bomb in Megaton. Uh, we now have a high enough explosive skill to at least attempt it. I was just over in Megaton, and I uh, got my limbs all fixed up by the dock and thought I'd just, you know, walk over there and see if it'll even let me attempt it, and now it does. But to give ourselves a little bit more of an edge... Uh, we're going to grab some clothing that gives us more explosives. And I think there's some, well, more with the Lucky Long Johns. Uh, I don't have those uh, Long Johns. So let's get the Raider Blastmaster Helmet for another plus 10 explosives. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, I mean, we might as well wear the environment suit too so we don't get... Or no, the radiation suit, so we don't get as irradiated. And then... I think that's all we have there. Let's put the... Okay, where's the environment? Okay, so that only gives us 30 rad resist. This gives us 40, so let's put that back. Right. Okay. So right now we have, um, explosives. Okay. So we have 50 explosives just straight out of the box. So let's put on the Blastmaster helmet and the radiation suit. Now this doesn't, this, the radiation suit doesn't give us more explosives, but it'll help us not get as irradiated. Right. Uh, so Wait, do I have to refresh that? Why isn't that giving us more explosives? Uh. Oh. Oh, okay. I can't wear this and this at the same time. Can I wear this? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, then we're just going to have to take more radiation. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to use some right away. Because I ha right now, I don't think I have any radiation or not enough to really worry about. Okay, so we'll put those two things back because we definitely want to wear this. Let's just double check now and make sure. Yeah, okay, so we have 60 explosives. Plus, we should have a magazine. Yeah, Patriot's Cookbook. So that'll give us another five explosives on top of that. Um, right. Okay. So let's go do this and either we'll disarm the bomb or we'll blow everybody to kingdom come. <laughs> I'm actually not sure what it does if you're unsuccessful, if it actually game over or if it just says you failed and come back and try again later or what? I don't know. We will find out though. Done. And, of course, the game crashed. Megaton is fairly unstable. Incidentally, just FYI for anybody that might be curious, um, the issues that I have with Capital Punishment Mod List uh, and or Tale of Two Wastelands, you know, things like all the crashing, the flickering, you know, the little flickering thingies that show up on the textures... Um, you know, so like off in the distance, we, we see something flashing, you know, that kind of business. Those two things, I'm trying to think of what other issues we frequently seem to have. Well, those two things in particular, 
Um, those are not unique to my system. That That is an issue with this version of Capital Punishment and or Tale of Two Wastelands. And the reason I know that is because I started watching somebody else on YouTube playing through this as well. Um, I'm way ahead of where, where they are, uh, so I don't typically watch ahead, but I will sometimes watch, um, you know, people do stuff that I've already done just to kind of see how they did it. And that the individual I was watching was having the same exact issue. He was having the flashing things. He was crashing in Megaton and, you know, so that, you know, that just confirms that those issues are really related more to or completely related to the mod list and the overhaul and not anything particularly wrong on my system. Okay. Most of the crashing issues happen with cell changes, but some, not all the time. Sometimes it crashes just for no apparent fucking reason. Okay, so let's see. We got this on. Uh, let's go to here and read Patriot's cookbook. And that should give us then a total of 65 explosives. All right. Here goes nothing. It's going to be tough, but you know how uh, you know enough to figure out where to begin arming or disarming this bond. Attempt to disarm. You carefully disconnect the detonator control module from the detonator wiring. Sparks shoot into your face as you disconnect the final wire, and your heart races. But the bomb doesn't explode. You've done it. All right. Every Let's get out of the irradiated water. The okay, cool. So. And children of the earth. Did we not get a quest update? Power of the Atom. Report. Oh, report to Lucas Sim's son, Harden. Right. Okay. Uh, if you guys didn't watch early on, um, the hell's that guy's name? The guy from Tenpenny Tower that sits in the bar. He shot and killed the sheriff, and then I shot and killed him. I, I didn't know he was going to kill a sheriff or I would have tried to save him. But uh, yeah, so that's why we have to talk to Lucas, the sheriff's son, because the sheriff is dead, unfortunately. Uh, let's also let's put our jammies on and buttons wig for this conversation. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but we'll do it anyway. There he is. You did it. You disarmed that thing. I did. Oh yeah, the other issue... Uh, you know how I've complained a few times about how people's faces look all really weird and that he was having that same problem on his playthrough too. So that I knew there was one other really big issue with, with this. So hopefully, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, I don't think I'm going to update to a newer version in the middle of a playthrough. That's usually not a good idea when you're doing mods like this, but we'll see. Anyway, back to this. Yes, I disarmed the thing. My dad. He would have been real happy about that. Yes, he would. Thank you. You're welcome. He wanted you to have these. A key in the D to an empty place up behind the brass lantern. You can move Oh, in okay. There if so you that's want. that's the player home for Megaton. Nice, okay. Oh, and talk to Mora at Crater Side Supply. She can help you decorate the place. Gotcha, okay. And a hundred bottle caps. Very nice. Okay, so um let's actually do a big save here. I should have done that right after I disarmed the bomb because who knows if uh, it would have been successful on a second attempt. Uh, and that house is, I think, this place right up here. Yeah, door to my megaton house. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. Well, hello, Wadsworth. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. All right. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Tell me a joke. I'd like a haircut. Where can I buy things for my place? I'd like something to drink. Tell me a joke. I once visited a crematorium that gave discounts for burn victims. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That, that's really funny, actually. Uh, tell me another joke. My humor emitter array requires recharge. I got you. Okay, you got to recharge your humor thing. Um, what? You can give me something to drink? Certainly, sir. Here you are. Oh, he can give purified water. That's nice. How many of those can you do? 
Certainly, sir, here you are. Certainly, sir, here you are. Certainly, sir, here you Certainly. Seriously? I'm sorry, sir. My condensation uh, okay. collectors need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. That's uh that's actually really useful. How many of those we get like four or five out of that? Love it. Okay. Um she's gonna just tell us to go see Moira. Yes, I believe this place could do with a speak with Moira Brown right. at Crater Sides. Okay, gotcha. Um Does this mean I can change my appearance? Certainly, I am programmed with a multitude of hair shaping scenarios. If you would care to Oh neat. Okay, cool. I mean I actually I'm not planning on changing, I was just more curious. Love it. Okay. You should, yes, I won't, I'm sure I want to keep my hair the way it is. All right, neat. I'll be sure and tidy up while you're away, sir. All right, cool. So we got ourselves a megaton home with a bobblehead collector stand. We got a fridge with some stuff in it. Go take a look upstairs. Little table there. Possible place for a workbench. This must be our bedroom. Excuse me, dog mate. Dog mate. Okay, where does this go? All right, just a little private room. Maybe this becomes a, a follower's room later on or something. All right, that's cool. I mean, I don't think we're really going to use this place because, you know, we got a much nicer place. But this is what's available to, you know, people playing this on vanilla. And, uh... <laughs> but we will occasionally come back here and talk to him to get some more water and maybe hear a few jokes because we know why not. I guess we could also put our baubles on here. Might as well. I mean, I can put one of these in our base, and I may eventually do that, but it does cost money. We have to pay several hundred caps for this, so we'll just use this one for the time being. Awesome. Okay. So, if we go to aid and drinks... Yeah, he gave us five of those, because I don't... I don't think I had one on me. I might have. So it was either four or five. But even four is, is really nice. Yeah. I mean, these things are worth 100 caps a pop. We shouldn't actually need to... Yeah, we don't really need to drink anything right now. We're in, we're in really good shape, so... Okay, so we got that done. Very nice. Um, I'm just curious. Let's just see what Moira does have... for this house. I'm not planning on buying anything, but let's just take a quick look-see, because I don't, you know, Remember, Walter, you are weird. Um, I'm just curious to see if there's anything like... Any luck finding out how Rivet City got... Uh, can't get a straight answer. Okay, I, we're going to have to do something about that, though, because I want to finish her, her quest. Uh, okay, let's see. I hear your person see... To see about buying stuff for my house. Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place. All right, let me take a. Uh, what do your items do? Which one? First infirmary, first laboratory, Nuka Cola machine, workbench. All right, what does this do? If you're wounded, or you've hurt one of your limbs badly, this setup will allow you to heal it up as good as any other wasteland doctor. Hmm. That might be useful. I mean, that would be useful. I think we have the option of this in our other home, too, but it's really expensive. We're not going to do the jukebox because of copyright. What does this do? Probably it allows us to make Kim's. This setup is great for experimenting and coming up with all sorts of useful concoctions. 
So that's kind of like the alchemy station in Skyrim. Okay. It can also be used to get rid of any horrible addictions oh. you may have from tasting your results. That is also useful. Okay. We don't need a Nuka Cola machine. One push of a button. Okay. We don't need a workbench. If you feel like. All right. How much does this stuff yeah. cost? Uh, what are the themes? Purchase that you can choose from the Vault, Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science. Love machine or pre-war theme. Yeah, nah, I'm not interested in that stuff. Because uh, we already got that going sure. on in our garage space. All right, let's take a look at your stuff. So, apparel, where is the themes going to be? Probably in, yeah, miscellaneous. Okay. So, the infirmary and the laboratory are both a little over 1,200 caps. I have to conclude that the ones that we can buy in the garage will do the same thing. And I'd rather have everything over at the house we're going to live in. But let's go look at it and, and just confirm that the price is the same. So 1239 Okay. Is there anything? I don't think I have anything to sell. I think we're... I already took care of all that before I started the episode. Okay. Try not. Oh, actually, huh. do you have a doctor's bag? Aid. You do. Okay. Wow. One sixty-five. Uh, we we probably. We're probably getting even more of a discount now that we're in real good with Megaton. Saving them from the bomb and all. Except for the Church of Adam probably doesn't appreciate Don't it, but those yourself. guys can fuck off anyways. Yeah. Alright. Nice. So we got a doctor's pick. Let's go back home and see what the laboratory and the medical station cost there. Huh? Oh, I was going to show you guys the lights. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? We also have like these white Christmas lights. Might as well pick this mute fruit since it keeps regrowing. It's free money, basically. Okay. So if we go to the caravan vendor. And we go to miscellaneous. Okay, so the chemistry set here is only $9.99, but the infirmary, which also has a dermal sculptor, is like double the price. So the other two were $12.39, so that would be $24. 478 in total. So the other two are cheaper than just this by itself. But this has a dermal sculptor, which Wadsworth can do for us. Not that I plan on using it. So to get this stuff here is going to essentially cost us another thousand caps. But we have it in our home and we don't have to go into Megaton to, to do all that. Okay. I'm going to have to think about that. I'll tell you what I do want to do, though. We're going to do a quick science experiment. I'm going to do a quick save. Let's buy the chemistry set now, because I just want to confirm that um, we can use it to heal addiction. So where would that have gone? Oh, do I have to... We have to wait an hour. Oh, wait a second. So, 
Are you... S oh, see, I don't have... I don't have enough science to make this. Did it? Didn't it say, though, that it just added it? I don't remember what that text said. I don't see an actual chemistry station over here, though. Hmm. Okay. Let, let's uh, let's do something here. If we go back to here, okay, and we we look here, Springvale Laboratory. That requires chemistry supplies, and it requires forty science. All right, if I reload and don't buy that, is that option still here? It is. So what's the difference between making that there and purchasing this here? Chemistry and laboratory. Oh, oh, information. That's what it said. Okay. Right, right. I, I missed that part. Okay. All right. Get this. Word has it that the Raiders and Jury Street Station have recently been hitting caravans for chemicals. And I don't mean chems or other shit that gets you high. I mean industrial chemicals. Wonder Glue in particular. One of them took a few bullets in the gut when he tried to shake down one of the more heavily armed Brahmin trains before he bled out for good. They tried to interrogate him in exchange for medical attention. He said that they... Uh, he said that some cook has been paying the Jury Street gang to find chemicals. Don't give away much more than that, though. He was too far gone. Didn't. Anyway, if you can persuade the Raiders to let you speak to this guy, maybe you can get some leads on equipment from him or just get it from him if you're so inclined. Okay, so what that essentially did in buying that is that it opened up the quest for us to go get the stuff. But the other thing, though, is... Even if we do get it, we still don't have a high enough science to make it. And I'm not planning on putting points in science anytime soon, if ever. So, what I think that means, let's reload again, because that was a, a test. I think we just go get the stuff for our Megaton house, because it's cheaper, A, and B. I don't have to have science to do it and then we'll have a place that we can heal our addictions and to some extent heal damage and I don't have to keep giving Dr. Church uh, my caps besides he's an asshole anyways how much money do I have Okay, I don't have enough to get both of them, so let's get the medical one first. And then later on we can get the the chem station. Nice. Hey, don't mind the smell. I was Do I still have my jammies on? Uh yeah, I don't want my jammies, I want my trader outfit. Okay. You know, I think I've found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I'm looking to buy some things for the house. Let's take a look at your stuff. Okay, so we want... We want the... My first infirmary. Good hunting. Okay. Try not. So I guess. Shh. 
it, it, it's set up for us. Let's go see. Okay, so we should have a medical station. Uh, maybe it's upstairs. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, so... Heal yourself. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, cool. Fantastic. The infirmary requires a right -away to use this function. Just one right -away? Uh Okay. What about healing? Does it... Oh. It didn't require a stim pack either that or it... It used one of my stim packs. Okay. But if it's just using one to heal completely, that's still worth it because stim pack by itself doesn't do a whole lot. Um, all right, so this isn't completely free. We have to have the stuff, and I'm okay with that. Um, was oh, wait a second. What was the other thing? Oh, crippled body part. So that. Pro wonder if that requires a doctor's bag and or splints. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to burn either one of those things right now, so we'll just have to see what it does when we use it for real next time. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What can I... Tell me a joke. My okay, never mind then. Goodbye. Cool. All right. I think we're done farting around and ready to get going here. Um, we, we're not really sleepy, so I guess let's just go. Uh, what is the plan, by the way? Um, I think I wanted to go north and then northwest and just kind of explore that part of the map with our ultimate destination to be Dickerson Tabernacle Chapel. But I did want to stop back off by, um, the headquarters and just take another look at what I'm actually supposed to do for that bounty because we seem to be having problems lately not being able to find the boss and get the finger for that. So let's do that first. Okay, let's take a look at this. Existing wanted contract. You have an outstanding contract that has not been completed at this time. Please consult your pit boy map for the fugitive's currently known whereabouts. You may cancel the existing contract, but you will be fined to sum of caps and lose some reputation. Right, but here again. Re oh, reset contract location. Oh, what does that do? Are you sure you want to reset the map quest location with more enemies? Yes. What does this mean? This is useful if the boss can't be found. Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is useful if the boss can't be found when you visit the location or if you would like to redo a location or have more enemies at the location in the first place. If you cannot find a boss at a location, they sometimes run off. You can reset them back to the location by saving your game away from the location and reloading your game. Okay, hold on. If you can't find a boss at a location, you can reset them back to the location by saving your game away from the location and reloading your game and then revisit the location. Oh, okay. I see. Well, okay, that's what we'll do the next time, but for now, let's just reset it. Resetting location. So apparently there is some kind of inherent bug with all of this, and so the mod author must have, you know, built this in as a workaround, which is fine, you know? I get it, for sure. Okay, cool. So now... Now we should be able to go back there and hopefully the boss will be there. Except for it's like way out of the way from where we wanted to go. It's this wrecked shack here. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think what I want to do. I don't have a ton of coin at the moment because we just spent so much money. 
I'm still kind of inclined to maybe come back to that later. But I'm curious to see if it's going to actually work now, though, as a thing. All right, yeah, I'm just going to work my way back there. I, I'll, I'll cut the camera unless something significant happens. And I'll meet you guys when we're back at the wrecked shack. And hopefully we can finish the, uh, you know, finish the bounty at that point. But ultimately, hopefully if everything goes well, we'll, you know, we're, we're going to work our way north before this episode is over. Ah, it's killing time. All right, guys, we are back at the site, and I do see at least three enemies moving around down there. I have really no idea uh, or no way of knowing which one's the boss. It might be that guy because he seems like he's a little more equipped maybe than the others. Yep, that was the boss. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, now at least we know what to do next time this happens. There's definitely more of them, too, but it's fine with me. Okay, let's move in. We have caution, but not danger. That's Brotherhood, okay. There we go. Nice. Scoped 44. I don't I don't think that's worth a ton. Plus I already have one anyway. Yeah, it's got a VW of 19. We'll hang on to it for now.
Did anything over here reset? Looks like maybe it did. Oh, yeah. Goodness gracious. Um, all right. I don't want all of this stuff. We'll take... Take the pistols, all this ammunition. Don't want any of that stuff. Guess we'll take the wine as well. Uh, that makes me feel a lot better about this because uh, obviously we were having some issues with these quests, but it's nice that we have a way to fix it now. Alrighty then. How, uh, what the hell? Did did we actually kill the boss the first time and I just never found him? That would seem to suggest that's what happened because there's another boss. Hmm. I find that a little hard to believe though because I mean I scoured this whole area there and this guy's not like not like he's hidden in the bushes. I don't think I would have missed that. Yeah, I don't know. Weird, man. I wonder if... Hmm. You know, we got screwed out of that uh, that other quest. I wonder if we could take advantage of having two boss fingers and just... turn them both in. I'm not sure. Okay, well, hey, that uh, that actually worked out quite well. It really did indeed. So, so now I guess I need to figure out what we should do next. Because we're way the hell down in the southwest. Well, maybe that's what we should do is just continue so exploring the southwest for the rest of this episode. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll actually do. So let's just place a marker... Uh, all the way to the southwest corner of the map. How are we doing on weight? Yeah, we're doing okay. And there's a couple of, you know, like this pistol is not hard. I mean, it's worth a decent amount, I guess. That one isn't. But I'll hang on to it until I have to start throwing stuff away. Looks like we could stand to maybe fix ourselves up just a smidge here, too. So let's take one of those, one of those, and a couple of expired stim packs. All right, yep, so let's just explore the southwestern part of the map. And uh, we'll do that. We'll do the turn in for this in the next episode because it's just out of the way. See what there is to see. I'm going to do a save here as well. Okay. That's Ten Penny Tower over there. I just know that from, you know, my previous playthrough. And that's where, I think, Mr. Burke, is that what that asshole's name was that killed the sheriff? That's where he's from. So that'll that'll be at least an episode, if not more, when the time comes to do it. But, I mean, we've already saved Megaton. So that there might not be anything for us to do there quest-wise. We just go in there and clean house. We'll see. If I would have known we were going to pass back by Girder Shade again, I would have brought those Nukas with us. But I still have enough caps to be doing a bunch of fast traveling back and forth multiple times at this point. So we've spent a lot of money. All right, I think it's time to remove these. What's the VW on that stuff? Yeah, it's not terrible, I guess. On the egg. Um, Mantis foreleg. Well, okay, so this is basically a freebie because it has no weight at all, even though it's only worth two caps. So 
Sure, why not? That seems a little odd to me that it has no weight at all, but whatever. Not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Jocko's pop and gas stop. Okay. Oh, look at all this whiskey. Let's take a peek inside of here. That safe has nothing in it. Nikola Tesla and you. Schematics, a bottle cap mine. Nice. All right, is this Nikola Tesla like a science? Oh, it's energy weapons. Okay, well, we'll read it. Mintats. There's a quantum. Beautiful. All right. I'm not picking up beer anymore. It's just not worth it, really. There's a stim pack. We'll take that. Okay, I think uh, I think we're done in here. Let's go. Continue working our way southwest. We've discovered VAPL sixty six power station. Raiders have been here. Dean's Electronics, more repair. Love it. All right, there's a lot of shit on this desk. Um... I want to uh, grab those meds, but it's, and definitely the stim packs. It's not letting me get it. These, uh, uh, okay, Medex. The cursor location for this stuff is really weird. Take the darts. Wonder glue. Uh, I don't think we want conductors or leaf blowers. I don't think those are worth the weight. Last time I checked, that's a couple of hammers in there. So I think that's it. Okay. Well, the best prize out of here was a course two more points in repair so we'll take it let us continue on is there anything in here not that I can tell we seem to be getting in kind of mountainous terrain in this area All right, we got some kind of big structure over here. Before we just go waltzing over there, let's do a little bit of reconnoitering. Okay, 
I don't see... I don't see anything. Where are we at? We're very close to the end of the map. So this will probably be the last POI before we hit the border. Dunwich Building. Okay. Go get him, boy. There's a bot way over there, it looks like. What the hell is that? Looks like a... Oh, it's a scorpion. Okay. The angle that I was looking at it from made it uh, look like almost more like a crab. Let's see if this road does anything. More? Oh, we have something over here. How is your... I, I don't know. How am I supposed to see his health? I mean, I guess the red bar on the left. It kind of seems to suggest he's not taking damage at all. Which is a little... Hmm. I mean, I may have set that just because the companions get killed so easy from stupidity. I don't know, that seems a little cheesy McSqueezy that he's not taking any damage. Let's take a look at the tweak settings. Companion. Companions don't consume ammo. Companions use location font on map. Custom. Compass custom companion color, disable companion kill cam. Light step affects companions, gives companions light step if the player has the perk. Okay. No companion item damage, prevent companion items taking damage. No companion kill XP, don't reward XP for companion kills. Stops companions attack damage, increasing the player dealt damage. When comparing for stops companions attack damage increasing the player dealt damage. Used when comparing for death reward threshold. Hmm. Don't disarm no minimum companion map distance. Prevent companion footsteps. Quantity menu respects companion carry limit. Okay, revive unconscious reboot, or no, robot companions heal with scrap metal. <sighs> Show take all in containers, summon. That's ignores companions. So there's nothing in here that I can see. This is companion items, not companions. In, uh, difficulty doesn't affect NPC damage. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that basically makes them immune to damage. Is it possible that Follower might bring... Uh, whoops. Follower. Or just follow. Melee impact affects follow target. Red generic follower topics. Prevents companions saying when they're injured, needing ammo. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that 
has disabled them, you know, uh, from taking damage. But he's obviously got blood on him, but if I'm reading that icon on the left-hand side, it looks like he's at full health. Let's try something else here. If we go to aid, I have 16 stim packs. All right, so if we go... Use aid item. Dog meat does not require healing. I know I've healed him before, so that does seem to suggest he takes damage. Maybe he's just... I don't know. He must be really tough. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's go see what this place is, because this is pretty much the end of the end of the map. Well, actually, up there is, but oh, uh, what the hell? Oh, scorpions all over out here. It doesn't look like we can get up there anyways, even if we wanted to. Which means, I'm sure, um, Rockland Car Tunnel. Which most likely means that, um, that requires a key. There's nothing up there anyways, you know, for us to see. All right. My guess, and I don't know this for sure, but my guess is that this might be like one of the DLCs since it's all the way at the end of the world. But I think it's probably safe to say that we have explored the extent of the map on the southwestern end. So we've been to the north, the extreme northeastern end and the extreme southwestern end now. Well, and really, we've been to the extreme southeastern end too because... Yeah, the, the map ends there. So the only extreme area we haven't been to is the northeastern end, or the northwestern end, I'm sorry, and just kind of along the northern and western borders and part of this southern border area too. So we'll continue, um, you know, exploring. Just trying to see if I can actually get up here. There's probably nothing we can do, but... Oh, shit. There's still stuff up here. That's probably the way we would have come, though. Well, does that mean there's another POI up here? It almost looks like there's still a path here. Nope, you cannot proceed in that direction. Okay, so we have indeed reach the end of the world as we know it. Then off. That way is just nothingness. Fantastic. All right, guys. I think what we're going to do is in the rep, uh, in the episode here, and we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. We'll head into this Dunwich place and check it out. Uh, we are starting to get heavy, but we do have a few things that aren't super valuable that we could chuck to. Um, we are still in pretty good shape. Uh, sometimes that doesn't... There, wait, why is it not showing... There we go. Yeah, we're actually in very good condition. A little bit thirsty, but we have... Um, we actually have stuff to drink. There we go. That takes care of that. Uh, Food-wise... That's going to give us two rads. That's going to give us two rads. I don't want to eat the MRE unless we have to. So, that's right. Yeah, let's just eat a couple mute fruits. That's fine. All right. Yep. Yeah. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.